This Easter weekend, April 19th to April 21st, join us in Washington, D.C. for the 44th annual ICNA Mass Convention. This year's theme is Healing Humanity, Lessons from Islam, also featuring youth conference, Huge Bazaar, live entertainment, children's programs, sisters' events, parallel sessions, matrimonial services, midnight basketball, kids jumping fun, and much more. Register today. This annual retreat has been going on for 42 years. So we thank him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we thank you, the Muslim community of America, for their trust, the confidence that they have really given us. Let this weekend be a moment of rejuvenation. Repent, renew. No matter how many executive orders are passed, how many Muslims are being beaten down on the streets, no matter how many masjids are being burned, we are called upon by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show courage. This is our moment. The entire world is waiting for Muslim Americans to wake up and say, enough is enough. We're reclaiming our identity. I have a sense of honor. I have a sense of izzah. I am a Muslim and you will not define me. Don't let them see you scared. Don't let them see you afraid. Don't let them see you taking off your hijabs. Don't let them see you afraid to pray in public. Don't let them see you changing your names. Don't let them see you hiding your Islam. I want you to tell your children to hold their backs straight and to keep their heads held high and make sure that their faith is stronger than ever so when they walk out into these streets, they are unapologetically Muslim. And sometimes shaitan tricks us and he tells us that if we're feeling sad or anxious, that that means that we don't have faith. That that means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is angry with us. And that's not true. Sadness and anxiety are a part of this life. Let's demonstrate to Allah our action. Enough talk. Let us show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are serious about his book. We are thankful to be a part of the ummah of his book. We believe in his book. We recite his book. We memorize his book. And most importantly, we act upon his book. While other conventions provide you with the knowledge and motivation, ICNA provides you with an opportunity to actually apply that knowledge and the motivation into action. We have many programs that I've volunteered with that Today we had food distribution for the homeless. Yesterday there were blessing bags for the homeless. Um, there are dawah walks every single year where we go out in the streets and spread dawah to random strangers. This is something that's lacking in most other conventions and I think ICNA does really right. I like that feeling where everywhere we're surrounded with Muslims and the thing is like you could always ask for help and they'll give it to you. I, the thing I liked about ICNA is that Alhamdulillah, uh, three days and it keeps getting better and better every year. I see more people I know every year. I see people coming from out of country. Amazing, crazily amount of people. You feel like you're in Hajj or something, mashallah. I'm so blessed to be here, hearing all the speakers, inspiring us to bring change to the world and fulfilling our duties and responsibilities as a Muslim. I think Ikna is a big blessing, especially to have it in our backyard. It's wonderful seeing a lot of uh, friends and family and friends that I haven't seen in a long time be here and it's great to listen to all these uh, renowned speakers give their talks about very important subjects that we can all learn a lot about. The ICNA Mass Convention is a really great experience because not only do you get to see excellent speakers but you also get to see Muslims from all over the area and all over the world. You can buy different apparel and books and all kinds of great things uh, meant specifically for Muslims. You get this great vibe from the entire convention when you're here. It's something that you can't really explain. You can only come here and, and feel what it feels like. Um, this is ICNA itself's uh, 50th anniversary so it's really cool that they've been serving the community and the world for 50 years now, mashallah. Asalaamu Alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We had another unbelievable alhamdulillah experience here at the ICNA convention and already excited and looking forward to the next one. Alhamdulillah, each year the conference is amazing and we encourage you to join us next year, inshallah. It's a great experience. 
a great environment for your family to learn, uh, benefit yourself with beneficial knowledge, and a great environment. It's not like everybody, this year's ICNA conference was amazing. I had a great time with Musa, as you can see. Well, I'm so honored every year to be at the ICNA convention. And in 2019, the convention will be April 19th to 21st. In Washington, D.C. See you all there, inshallah. I'll be here, my family will be here, the Qalam team will be here, and I hope you'll be here as well, inshallah. It'll be uplifting and motivating and can't wait to see my Muslim family.